Hello, Nelly. Can you hear me? How are you, teacher? I'm doing okay, thank you. How was your day? Uh, a little bit higher. I have okay. to wash my clothes. Okay. So you do laundry? How frequent do you do laundry? Frequent, frequently? Um, uh, week, weeks, week a week. Every week. Every week. Okay. But I, I, I didn't wash. Mm, then. So you didn't uh, wash everything. This day. Oh, since. Yes. Since uh, last month, <laughs> I think. Really. Yeah. <laughs> so you had a lot of clothing. Yes. <laughs> My goodness. How many hours did you spend doing the laundry? Three hours. Three hours. Because I, yes, I don't have a wash machine. Okay, so you do it by hand. Uh-huh. Okay. So it, it, three hours. Yes. Okay, so you washed everything uh, just for you or for your boyfriend too? For both. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. is, is your boyfriend working? Yes. Okay, so he's working normal. Yes, we, we don't live together, but he has clothes here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Where does he live? He lives near of me, but he works at the... Um, Good evening. Good evening. Hello. In la frontera. Oh, at the border. At the border, yeah. Okay. Does oh, he... Well, boy. Oh, and he travels every day? E every week. Okay, all right, mm -hmm. fine. Hello everyone, Ivan, Nelson, Andy, and Nelly. How was your day? My name is regular, regular work, stay at home. <laughs> okay, did you work today? Yeah. Okay, and where do you work again? In Claro, call center. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, where Where is the call center for Claro? In Santa Tecla? Santa Ana. Oh, Santa Ana, Santa Ana, Santa Ana. Where is it in Santa Ana? It's uh, near to Metro Centro in One Link. Oh, it's true. Yes, One Link. It's behind Metro Centro. Yeah. Okay, I used to teach there. I was there for like two months, I think. Yeah. Yeah, like two years ago. Okay. Kind of. Yeah. All right, so today is May 14th. What's tomorrow? What's tomorrow's date? May 15th. May 15th. May 15th. May 15th. Yes. Yeah. Some people, um, they get paid tomorrow. They get paid. And others, yeah. we have to wait until the end of the month. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So we still have to wait 50 more days, two more weeks. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, let's talk about yesterday. Uh, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Uh, we talk about quantitives. Quantifiers. Yes. Quantifiers. Can you give me examples of quantifiers? Um, like people. Uh huh. Mm. All. 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 Must. Near all, most, Nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, okay, not many, a few, and few. Good. When you are given those quantifiers, all of them are estimates or people use them as reference. So you have an idea of how much or how many they're talking about, except for two. What are the two that we mentioned that are very exact? Who remembers? So we said that no one, no one, and zero, all. and all means uh, everybody or everything. So all and no one are the only ones that when you say all, you're talking about 100%. And when you're saying no one, you're talking about 0%. Those are the only two that you can use um, in a way and people know exactly what you are saying. So once again, all means 100%. Uh, no one means zero. Very good. Um, any other topics about yesterday? Any questions you may have about yesterday? No. No, teacher. Okay. No. All right. So let's, um, when you talk about future events, what are the options that you use in terms of language? How do you express yourself for future plans or future events? In present progress. Present, present continuous, present present continuous, continuous is one option, yes. Present what progressives is, can be an, another option or not. Okay, uh, progressive and um, continuous, they're the same. So when you say present progressive or present continuous, you're saying exactly the same thing. So they're synonyms. Okay. Yes. Uh, any other forms that you have to express things about uh, future events? What about will? When do you use will? For action that is gonna happen uh, maybe tomorrow or a few days in the future. Okay, are they going to happen for sure or is it only a possibility? They, they're, gonna, they're gonna happen for sure. Okay, now if you're using will, in a real conversation with a native speaker or something, um, you can use will, you can use going to, and the two options express future events. And nobody's going to say anything to you like, no, don't say will, say going to, or vice versa, don't use going to, use will. Because at the end, you will be saying the same thing. So what plans do you have for Saturday? Uh, maybe I will stay home. Or you can say, maybe I'm going to stay home. And nobody's going to say anything about whether using will or going to. So if you're using will, it's because it's a possibility. Or maybe if it's something that will happen for sure, it's because you made the decision at the time you are speaking. Now, uh, if, if, if you're talking about plans, things that you have in your agenda, you will say going to. That is grammatically speaking. If you're talking about future events in a real life situation, you can use will or going to and nobody's going to say anything. 
um, any questions or comments about future events? No? no. Any questions no. about no. any topics about yesterday? No? Okay, so I'm going to assign you so you guys do the practice. Um, you guys are going to be working in pairs. And you guys will be talking about the plans that you have for tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, including Monday. Because we will meet again in four days. So talk about the plans that you have for the following four days. Use going to or will. Um, are there any questions? No. no, no, teacher. Okay, so let's break up the rooms, 12 people. I'm going to make six pairs. So everybody works in pairs. Let's go. Nelly, can you hear me? Nelson, can you hear me?
I will stay at home and work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I home office oh. and in the in the evening I I plan going to supermarket. Oh. Yeah, go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just or no? Sí. No, porque se cortó, pero empecemos con el sábado, si quieres. Okay. And uh, Saturday I will get up uh, late and I will cook uh, roast meat. <laughs> and, and how about uh, Monday? Teacher. Yes. <laughs> I don't understand something. Yes, ask me. I don't know when I have to use. I'm going to or will. Okay. But like like right now that you guys are having a normal conversation you can use will you can use going to that's not a problem however grammatically speaking if you're talking about things that you already have planned that you already have in your agenda you should say going to oh. it's a possibility then you say will or if it's your personal opinion you use will as well. But uh, like I said, on a real conversation, feel free to use whichever comes first to your mind. Ah, okay. okay. Yes. So in this case, how do you say, voy a bañar a mi perro? I'm going to um, bait my, my dog. Bait? Ah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Bait. Bait. Yes. B A B A T H. B A T H. Yes. E T H E. B A T H E. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. All right. Sería uh, I will watch para como el presente. No, for Ajá, future. ¿Qué es lo que estás haciendo? ¿Qué es lo que estás haciendo? ¿O qué vas a hacer? We're talking about future, so you should be using will or going to. Okay. Or uh, future continuous or future perfect. The idea is that you guys use the future options that we have. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I will uh, uh, read. Why is the reason? Uh, that you you are learning English to improve <laughs> okay. to improve my my speaking skills. So that is the reason because I don't I don't have the the can't provide so like the, the bachelor's degree or or the diploma. So I need them. That's to 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 prove that that I have studied English. So. I have learned English before then start this, these classes. So I'm doing these classes to improve my English. I have a level of English, but I need to improve it. So we never stop learning, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. So you guys finished with the exercise? Yes. yes. All right. So let's return to the main session. Okay. All right, are there any questions or comments related with going to or will? No, teacher. No, it's so clearly that they are the same <laughs> synonyms. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, if, like I was telling you guys, if you're using it in a real conversation with a person uh, uh, that doesn't speak Spanish, you can use will, you can use going to. However, if you're using a book, if you're taking an exam, and if we're talking about grammatically speaking, um, 
will is for possibilities and going to is for plans. Now, that is the grammatical part. A real conversation, you can use will, you can use going to, and uh, the message will be exactly the same. Okay. Any okay. questions or comments? No. No? No. All no, right. So yesterday, um, we were doing a reading exercise. Where's that reading? It's right here. Do you remember this? Yes. yes. Okay. How many people are there in that family? Five. 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 Five people. Do you remember the men's occupation? Home or housework. The father works in computers. Uh-huh. It's a computer program. And, and the lady? Uh, works as an administrator in, in a hospital. Okay. And what about the children? What do they do? Uh, one watch, watch, uh, spend his time at, uh, in front of the TV and one, uh, uh, I don't remember. Okay. Someone wants to help Alan? Uh-huh. Uh have a... It says that it's having an after school program. Okay. Okay, so um, let, let me see if I can. Okay, so here's the guy, the husband, here's the wife. Emily's okay. having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to have, want to leave. So she's having a good time. The second one, unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after-school program. Right no now, program. he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. And now we go with the first one. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. All right, so now we go with the questions. Um, what is the first question? Which children are you, yeah. Uh-huh. What, what is the meaning for household uh, chores? Household chores. You're talking about activities that you need to do at home, like All sweep right. the floor, yeah, yeah. mop, clean the windows, mop yeah, the yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got to remember. <laughs> okay, remember. good. So All right. I have, I have forgotten. Okay. So which children are benefiting from Judy working? Emily and Josh. Emily and Josh. Okay, good. Uh, which child is not benefiting from Judy working? Ben. 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 Okay. Which family member is enjoying more freedom? Josh. 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 Josh, exactly. Which family members are doing more housework? Uh, the wife, the husband, the husband, I don't remember what is the name. Okay. <laughs> Steve. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. And which family member feels too busy? Jody. Jody. Okay. Yes. So, um, any questions about this reading? No, no questions? No. Okay. No now, do you remember the class when we were discussing possessive adjectives? Yes, I, I, I remember a little. Okay. Uh, can someone tell me what possessive adjectives are? Mm -hmm. What are possessive adjectives? Uh, I don't know, teacher. Mine, her, hers, her. hers, his, theirs, your. Okay. Uh, my name is Francisco. This your is name is. Your class. His name is Carlos. His name. Her name is. Her, their. Their, our, where, and it. Our. So those are possessive adjectives. 
Now, uh, something that Spanish speakers need to be careful with is that in Spanish, we use the possessive adjective su for uh, when, you're, when you're talking about you, a man, or a woman. So you say, se me olvidó darle su cartera a Carmen. Se me olvidó darle su cartera a Jaime. Y se me olvidó darle su cartera ayer que usted se fue. So we use, in Spanish, we use su for three different uh, people. For él, ella, and usted. So when we use the language, we think that it's fine to do the same in English, but it's not. It's not fine. What is the possessive adjective for I? My. My. Uh, uh huh. Or mine. My. My. How do you spell mine? M I N Y. M Y. M Y. M Y. M Y. That is a possessive adjective. If you talk about possessive pronouns, then you will say mine, M-I-N-E. Now, what is the possessive adjective for you? Your. 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 Uh, what is the possessive adjective for Jaime? Yes. Uh, for Karina? She her. 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 her her what about if i'm talking about the computer and i want to say something about the computer it's it's, it's. it's. what about carlos and jaime there 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 what about there. emily and i our 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 no no it's only our if you say our. ours then it's not an adjective, it's a pronoun. So it, it changes, okay? Um, any questions or comments before I show you this, uh, an exercise related with possessive adjectives? No. No? No, no, no teacher. All right, so let me see where this is. Possessives. Okay, so we got this here. It's very simple. One of the problems when we translate from Spanish to English is that uh, sometimes we want to give literally the same vocabulary that we would use in Spanish, but that's not possible. So every personal pronoun has a possessive adjective. So the mission here is that you use uh, one for each. Let me see this here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Give me a second. Nine to 10. See this here. Give me a second, give me a second. I will share. Okay. So did you receive the image? I have yes. taken on a screenshot. Yes. Okay, good. So um, I'm going to assign you to work in pairs and for you to apply um, possessive adjectives again. So here we go.
address. Uh, what is your name? My name is Thomas. Dan. Ita. My pen on the table. Yes, uh, he is her. Susan is that her pen. Yeah, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Good. It's, it's rain, Santa Ana. Oh, right now. Right now. Uh, strongly or normal? Normal, normal. Okay. Uh, Santa Ana is near my house because I live in Lourdes, but it yeah. hasn't rained anything here. Oh, there is it's rain normal. Okay. But you, more one hour. Uh you you think that it will rain for one more hour? Yeah. Okay. Fine, good. Okay. Cecilia, three? Three. What is your name? What is your your name? Mm -hmm. Our names are Kevin and Stuart. They, no, their names they are, are names. Kevin and Stuart. They are my friends. Yes. Number six. He forgot to write his name on the test. Oh, oh. No, my phone number. Ah, okay. My phone number is... Did the uh, cut where uh, it this or the all did, did the cut it all of all of he, he now when you say there? cut what personal pronoun are you talking about? It exactly uh -huh. it's food it, it's food yes it's no. food the children are there. They are new teacher because you're speaking about two people. What number? Number ten. Number ten, Maria and Jennifer. Like I think new. it's your. Um, it, you know, in a real conversation, say Miriam and Jennifer like your new teacher, their new teacher, my new teacher. So you can use with different possessive adjectives in that number in particular. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, Tisha, yes. that's great. All right. Um. Oh. Number 11. <laughs> 11, I really love. 12, this is a picture of my friend. He's my he best friend. My best friend. Okay. What is your classroom? We can. His. His toys. His toys. Um, Marianne and Jennifer um, like. Like Marianne and Jennifer like. Their new teacher. Okay. I really like my new home, especially. Especially. La localización, pero en it's. Esta casa es Como habla de la lugar, casa. Lugar, verdad? It's. Ajá, es lugar. This is a picture of my friend Keith. His name on the test. Yes. Number seven. What's your phone number? My phone number is five 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 nine eight two six. Did the cast did the cat eat all of 
eat food. Okay, number nine. The children are crying because they can't find their toys. Right. Mariam and Jennifer like their new teacher. Like his teacher. Okay. I really like my new home, especially its location. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's ITS. It's okay. It's location. Yes. This is a picture of my friend. He is my my best friend. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, for yesterday. No. Yes. Or today. <laughs> <laughs> no. And you? Just yesterday. Okay. Oh, but it is too loud. <laughs> the people, it's it's amazing because they're they're making too too many loud, too much loud. Excuse me, too much noise. Loud. Noise, noise. Excuse me, noise. Okay, you guys finished with the exercise? Yes. Okay, yes. so let's return. Were you able to finish the last exercise? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Are there any questions? No. No? Okay. Sure? Yes. Uh, when we're talking about animals, we use it. Yes, sir. But but if we, if we know the the gender, we can talk about his or her for us. Yes, animals. yes. Uh, grammatically speaking, it's not good. But in a real life situation, everybody says, "Hey, what's her name?" or "What's his name?" or they ask you, "Hey, nice puppy. Is it a he or a she?" You know. So it's a. Uh, 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 if you're taking an exam, you shouldn't say he or she for animals, or the book will tell you it's always it. But in a real life situation, you can perfectly say he or she. Oh, thank you. Yep. Any other questions or comments? No. No teacher. Okay. All right, so now we go with our last activity. Um, do you remember WH questions with um, verb to be? Yes. Okay. Yes. So the questions are very simple. Do you remember uh, the five W's? Yes. Do you see the document on your screen? Yes, you can No. 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 Okay, give me a second. I forgot to do something. Ha, ha, ha. Stop recording. Give me a second. Okay, share, share. Okay, uh, can you see it now? Yes. yes. All right. Yes. Uh, what is another form to, to what, what's the name of these five words, WH? 
you can call them the five W's or you can call them question words because literally um, if I say, look, I saw your brother. And if you say where, that's a question. You're, you're expecting an answer from me. So you use what for things in general, you use where for places, when is for time, who is for people, and which is when you have options. So your mission is to include one of these five here in each of the sentences uh, that you on your screen. Um, we will do the first 20, and I expect you to answer um, every question. So if I say, what is your name? You will say, well, my name is Andy Torres. My name is Lorena Jimenez. My name is Vladimir Rodriguez, and so on. So you give complete answers. So for the, if I'm working with Andy and I ask the questions first, she answers. When I finish making the questions, it's going to be her turn to ask the questions and I will be the one answering. Are the instructions clear? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. All right, so let yes, me they do are. this. All right, here we go. Um, remember. ¿A quién conociste en el viaje? Ah, en el viaje. I met. Uh, I met. I met. Uh, Nelly Perez. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you prefer? Do you meet uh, in the street? Six. Yeah. yeah. Number when seven. seven, which which Eight one you prefer? Call some. some. Okay. Um. Number A. Who? Who is your best friend? Right. Yeah. Number nine. Nine. What is your favorite king or kind of music? Number 10. When, when do you like to go? We don't, uh, we don't have option with, uh, for which. What, yes. Uh, what, yes. What is your favorite sport? I really like football. Football? My running. 
Uh, Rooney. Yes, I'm Rooney. Oh. Yes. <laughs> where do you Where do you practice? Well, after quarantine, we we run uh, at the Antiguo Cucatlan. Antiguo Cucatlan, Santa Elena. It, it was a uh, the I don't know circuito. Yeah, circuit. The circuit with a uh, uh, runner groups of Antigua Antigua Cucatlan. Oh. Uh -huh. And what time do you usually practice? In the morning or evening? Uh, in the evening, uh, after work, we run uh, an hour and a half. Okay. Yes. How many days a week? Two days. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, good. Yes. Good. Yes. That's good. Yes, I really like them. And when the race are opening, all all participate. The group all participate in in race. Good, good. Yes. Nice. Learning language. I prefer learning English. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is... Uh, who... No. Uh-huh. Who do you love? Who... My love is... No. And... Where do you like to go? Where do you like to go? Uh, I would like to go to uh, to to natural parks, so where you can walk and take some pictures and eat over the over the 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 tree shadows and and that's it. So that is that is the place that I that I like. Okay. For me, um, maybe climb mountain or or go to to Puerto del Diablo. Okay. Okay. Or walk with my dogs in the pride. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport. I don't have a favorite sport. And <laughs> yeah, it's complicated. It's volleyball. Which number are you doing? Oh. Okay, uh, but which one are you doing in this oh, moment? The... In, in why? Yeah, but which number are you doing? Ivan, can you oh, hear me? Oh. So you finished already? Uh, yeah? No te escucha, teacher. Hola, hola. Yo escuché tres cortadas, teacher. Como que fuera robot, se oye. Yeah. No, no te entiendo qué se está preguntando usted o a mí. <laughs> hola, the hola. The two. I'm asking you two. <laughs> Because it's raining right now in Lourdes. Yeah. Cecilia, uh, you're in San Salvador. Yes. And Ivan, where are you? 
In Santa Ana, but no, it's not rain, not raining now. Okay, uh, so it, it, the, so, the, so the rain uh, is moving this way. Yeah, next in San Salvador. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, so which number are you doing right now? We finished it. Oh, you finished everything. Okay. Yes. So let's return to the main session then. Thank you. Bye, Cecilia. Bye. <laughs> Uh, what do you know? Uh, the um, I know my my wife. Okay. 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 Let's okay. return to the main session. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to find a way. I don't know. Oh, there it is. All right. Um, were you able to finish uh, the last exercise? No. Yes. Okay. Uh, some of you guys were like, completely finished some of you guys were nearly finished and some of you guys were like halfway but um uh you guys get the idea how to make uh wh questions with verb to be um whether you're using it in in the simple present or the simple past you always include wh plus am is are if it's present or was were if it's in past um, are there any questions related with today's session no no teacher no okay no. lorraine do you have a question no i have no okay so once again thank you very much for your time I will be seeing you Monday, same place, same time. Uh, I hope you guys have a nice weekend and take care of yourselves. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, Good night for all. All right, take care.